What's up guys, Crypto Savvy here. I hope everybody's having a fabulous Saturday. I'm gonna try to make this video a little quicker. We're gonna look at Bitcoin and its critical areas. I'll start out with the bigger time frame and move on down in. Also, I wanna remind you guys, I am doing a free t-shirt giveaway on Sunday. We'll be picking a random comment throughout the video, so make sure to leave a comment below. That also helps the channel out. Definitely leave a thumbs up, leave your comments, and make sure you're subscribed to the channel for your chance to win the free t-shirt on Sunday. And when you watch Sunday, you will have 24 hours to claim the t-shirt if you are the winner. Also, I want to remind you guys, there's a 100% free Discord group in the description below the video. Definitely check it out. It's totally free, guys. Awesome community. If you love crypto, you'll love the community. There's also some other affiliate links down there that really help the channel out if you guys want to use them. I'll also be talking about some Black Friday sales that are still going on, and you should jump on them if you haven't already, and we'll talk about that. And a Bitcoin ATM in my local mall, so... Yeah, stick around. Should be a good, good video. All right, guys. As always, I want to start out by saying I'm not a financial advisor. This is not financial advice. This is my opinion and my view of the market only. Anybody that's doing any trading or investing in this market, I suggest you do your own due diligence and your own research as this market is extremely volatile and risky. Also, keep in mind, it's still a speculative market. Don't put in more than you're willing to lose. And with that being said, if you're new here or you haven't already, definitely hit the subscribe button in the lower right-hand side of the screen. That will get you subscribed to the channel. Totally free. Tick the notification bell to get you notified when I post new videos, guys. Smash the likes, leave your comments for that chance to win the free t-shirt, but make sure you're subscribed or you will be disqualified. Anyways, so looking at the weekly here, I did want to talk about, I was, did some Friday, Black Friday shopping yesterday, and while I was in the mall, I ran into um, a Bitcoin ATM. I thought that was pretty cool. I, I don't know how long it's been there. I don't go to the mall, mall much, but I thought it was pretty interesting. Nice seen on the, you know, on the news on Google, Bitcoin ATMs installed at five major malls. Obviously, mine isn't a major mall, but it is a pretty big mall. But um, that's just a sign of adoption, guys. I mean, it's getting more and more acceptable, which is is great for crypto um, and Bitcoin. Also, fear and greed index, we are at 38, raised a little bit. Yesterday, we were at 31, so we are having a little drop now. We're going to talk about those targets. Um I do want to talk about the Black Friday specials, though, real quick. I have links to all these below in the description below. 60% off trading view if you get the paid version. I think you get an extra $30 um, on top of that. Definitely check that out if you are doing your own charting or want to start. There is a trading view link below. Also, Ledger Hardware Wallets, 30% off for another, I think, till December 2nd. So, if I, I strongly suggest you guys get your cryptos off the exchanges. Um, not your keys, not your crypto. And we've seen tons of exchanges get hacked. Keep your crypto safe, guys. I suggest getting a ledger. Um, this is a 30% off sale or an Elipail, which they're running a Black Friday sale too. Definitely, definitely need to get your cryptos off the exchanges, guys. Also, this is where you'll pick your t-shirt. This is my, inker, my wife's inkerimage.com. Um, there's a link to that below in the description also with everything else. There's some other links down there too you might want to check out. You get some free crypto. But um, yeah, you can choose a t-shirt of your choice in here. Um, and if you want to purchase anything, she can put anything you want on this. So it makes great Christmas gifts, guys. Uh, there's beer mugs or beer koozies, coffee mugs, t-shirts, aluminum signs. These are pretty damn cool. Hats. Um, there's also some other stuff you can hit her up in the contact. There's hoodies and uh, keychains, stuff like that. So definitely check it out, guys. Appreciate all the support you guys have been giving me. That stuff really helps the channel out, helps keep this content free. All right, so looking at Bitcoin on the weekly here. And this is on the Brave New Coin Liquid Index. So the, the price isn't updated right now. But what I wanted to talk about real quick was the 55 EMA and closing this week above 7,900, I believe is extremely crucial. The 55 EMA is right here at 5,500 in, I'm sorry, at the 55 EMA. The reason I believe that if you look here, we've, we close this candle below it, open this candle below it. Anytime we open and close a candle below it, Bitcoin gets extremely bearish. That is 
when I will get bearish if we close this week's under 79 or under that 55 EMA. But if you look back here, we closed this candle below it, opened this candle, but we never opened and closed one below it, and we stayed above the 55 EMA, and you can see what happened after that, the big bull run. And I've been talking about this for quite some time. I do believe this is just like the area we're in now, guys. I think we're going to see pretty much the same thing as we've seen back here. Um, in my opinion, obviously history doesn't have to repeat itself, but this looks pretty convincing to me. Let's get into the monthly. And as you guys know, if you watch the channel, I'm still looking at this as a bull flag. The measured move off of that, if we were to break out, say, next month, no guarantee we will, but that would get us up to about the $18,600 range. And again, guys, not one big green candle straight up. Um, you know, that would take time maybe in the first quarter of next year. Um, yeah, that's what I'm looking at there. Let's go into the weekly. And... In the weekly, have the same bull flag drawn in here. Now, I do have, we are getting support on this bottom line now, still. I do have this dotted line here, which is a possibility. And the measured move, or not the measured move, but the, the target, if we were to break down through this support, is going to be around the 5,400. We'll take a look at that in the price action. But I do want to point out also that right here, if we look at this trend line, on the volume the volume is declining while we're in this formation when this volume usually when we have a spike in volume will be a break of the formation so if we have a red spike we're most likely going to come down to that fifty four hundred dollar range if we get a green spike to get out of this that would be breaking this line which is extremely bullish guys if we break this line watch out um let's let's go into the daily now and looking at the daily chart. So, I do have the fibs drawn on here, the Fibonacci retracement from the swing low to the swing high. And I'll show you why. Um, as you can see, we've we've wicked through here, and but we've been getting support by the golden pocket zone here, which is between the 0.65 and the 0.618. Um, also, this trend line has given us support if we take a look at where we're at now, obviously we're getting a nice little drop now. But looking at this as a rising wedge, which is a bearish formation, if we break down below it, if we did a measured move of the widest point of the wedge where it started right here, bring it to here. If we are to break down from here today, guys, I'd be looking for the 64, about the 6448 range, which would be, again, retesting this bottom support line if that breaks then i'd be looking for that 5400 dollars area but that's where i'm looking at looking at it on the daily we'll go into the four hour here in a minute um let's look at the daily rsi as you can see i had the falling channel here which we broke out of came back down and broke back out of again which we are out of it now question is do we come back down and test it again or will we come all the way down to the bottom of this white trend line that I have drawn in here. Um, we'll look at the four hours, see if that gives us any better clues. And as you can see here, I had this rising, or not, ri yeah, rising broadening wedge, the, the big one here, and then we had a falling broadening wedge that we fell out of, broke through here when we were looking at this as an inverse head and shoulders, and it played out pretty well. Are we having any divergence here? That's what I wanna look at now. And, we are having some hidden bullish divergence that can be erased if we drop down to that 73.55 area but we are having higher lows in the price action right now lower lows in the rsi right here so it's gonna be a wait and see game i think guys but it looks like right now we are getting held up by the 0.236 fibonacci um it's like a possibility that we drop down to the 73.55, which is a 0.382, which would be, looking at this as a rising channel, that would be retesting the bottom of this channel right around the 73.50 range. That'd be retesting the bottom of this channel. But if we look at this as a rising wedge here, let me get rid of the Fibonacci's. Well, actually, no, I don't want to yet. Yeah, I'll get rid of them. Sorry, guys. All right, looking at this as a 
rising wedge with this measured move of breaking down would be around the 6894, which is also the 0.65 Fibonacci, guys. Um, I would look for a bounce there. If not, then we'll look at the lower ones, which we discussed earlier. That would be if we were looking at that as a wedge. I'm not necessarily convinced that's a wedge. Um, I, I'm more so looking at this as a rising rising channel. I also have this, looking at this as a flagpole, this being a bull flag, we had this measured move of 8,000. I'm still looking for that $8,000 range, guys. I think that um, as long as this catches us as support, if we do drop down to that 7,350, we should be headed up towards the 8,000. Again, I'm really looking for a close above the 7,900 for the weekly. And that doesn't mean that we can't drop down after it. I just don't want to see a weekly candle open and close below the 55 EMA. I'm going to put the EMAs up here and see how they're looking. Um, all right, so we've had the 8 the 13 cross the 55 EMA and actually the 21 crossed it here. It's that is a bullish sign. Usually if we can, if this continues up and shoots up from here, that's going to be pretty damn bullish with all the EMAs crossing the 55 here. And then that next stop would be that 200 EMA, which is around the 80, 8,100 range right in there. And that's yeah, right around, right around 8,100, 8,120. Uh, that'd be the 200 EMA. That would be my next point of resistance if we break that 8,000. Um, but yeah, I'm like I said, as long as we close above the 7,900, I'm pretty pretty damn bullish here for the mid to long term. Um, but as we just looked at, you know, these got to keep it in mind that these targets are still possible. I'm gonna look at the EMAs on the daily real quick, and nothing special there. How about the RSI? Is there any divergence or hidden divergence in the daily RSI? Not so much. So anyways, that's where I'm at today, guys. If you enjoyed the video, make sure you subscribe by clicking the Crypto Savvy logo above my head, which also leave a comment down below and give it a thumbs up for your chance to win the free t-shirt on Sunday's video. I will be drawing a random comment from throughout the week, so definitely don't forget to do that. Thanks a lot for tuning in, guys. Um, don't forget to check out the affiliate links down below. They all help the channel out. I'll leave a tutorial here, too, if you guys are interested in trading. Um, I don't suggest just jumping into trading if you don't know what you're doing. Definitely don't put in more than you're willing to lose. And I would actually start a practice trading account before even attempting it, guys. And don't do high leverage, especially if you're not experienced. Take it easy. Have a great day. And I'm out.